Now, I want to be really clear that I'm talking about real slavery. If you look across all of human history and you say, what's the heart of slavery? Not is it legal, not is it about race, is it about religion? If you look at the actual relationship, what's slavery about? It's always this, one person completely controlling another one. Violence being used to maintain that control, and that control being used to exploit people economically. That's true in ancient Babylonia, that's true in Alabama in 1850, and it's true in San Francisco today. The other thing is that people always think about is that nobody gets paid when they're a slave, and that's, that's true too. But that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is violent control and economic exploitation. Now, around the world, we have a very large number of people who can, f who can come under that violent control. Why? Because we have the vulnerability of something like a billion people who are living on a dollar a day in the developing world. We all know that stand. About six to seven hundred million of those billion live in places where the rule of law isn't working. It's collapsed, it never worked, corruption is extreme, but it means that if you have violence, you can reach out and use that violence and power to take control of somebody's life and enslave them. There's an eligible pool of about a billion people who could be enslaved. But in fact, most of the people who come into slavery today aren't captured. They're not knocked over the head. It's not about kidnapping. They walk into slavery when someone asks them this question. And all around the world, I've been told in different languages the same story about someone coming into a village or a barrio or a, or a rural area and standing up in the back of a truck and saying, I've got work. Who needs a job? And the person saying, you know, I looked at that guy and he looked like a crook. But my kids were hungry. My wife was sick. We had to do something. And they climb in the back and they take them away and it's a hundred miles or a, a month or a week or two days, it doesn't really matter, at some point when they say, this isn't what you promised and they want to walk away, wham, the hammer falls and they understand that that's where they are in slavery. And that's exactly what happens for most of the people who are brought to this country to be enslaved. They come looking for a better life, they end up brutalized and enslaved.